Hey guys, you're watching Tech Edit. My name is Basil and it's Galaxy S24 Ultra Times. So why do I need to talk anymore? Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm at the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra launch in San Jose and today I'm going to be talking you through what's cool about this device and specifically in this video I'm going to focus on the camera. Now the camera has been updated to include a 5 times zoom instead of a 10 times zoom and while that might seem like a bad thing as we've seen from Oppo and from Vivo 4 and 5 times zooms and 3 times zooms on the Oppo Find N3 and OnePlus Open, for example, are actually more useful than a far-reaching 10 times zoom that's pretty mediocre. And as a result, I'm actually not mad about the fact Samsung is ditching the furthest reaching zoom and swapping it out for a 5 times. There are a few things it's doing as well that are going to make that well just work a little bit better. It's employing AI into the zoom technology for starters, so it's going to be able to get closer to a subject while simultaneously being able to improve the image quality, improve the clarity. Um, in addition to that, it's increased the resolution of the zoom sensor. So the sensor having a higher resolution means it'll be able to combine both digital and optical zoom to get you closer to whatever it is you're zooming into. Um, and on top of that, obviously, with a more powerful processor, you can take more frames and also advanced AI computational photography so you'll be able to artificially enhance the picture. That's all well and good in theory and that's all this is at this stage, theory, because I haven't tried it out too much but I can't wait to in my full review and you can be sure I'll compare it to the best from Vivo and Oppo. Okay, I know I said this was a camera video, but quickly running through the other specs, and the S24 Ultra has a 6.8 inch screen that gets up to 2600 nits at peak brightness. It also has 120 hertz refresh rate, Corning Gorilla Glass armor, which uses more recycled material and reduces reflections by about 40%, so it should do well outdoors. As for the design, it's familiar but with a twist. 232 grams, so it's on the heavier side for phones. 8.6 millimeters, so not super skinny, but not the thickest either. And it's also got that titanium frame, flat front and back, no curved screen here. The whole point of it being flatter, according to Samsung, is it creates a more comfortable canvas for writing with using the S Pen. Inside, and it's Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for the Ultra, the S24 and S24 Plus get Exynos chips, and you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM on the Ultra with 256 gig starting storage, 512 gigabytes or one terabyte options, and the starting price is £1,249 in the UK, $1,300 in the US. There's also a 5,000 milliamp battery, 45 watt wired charging, and there's wireless charging too. Okay, they're the main specs, but what about the camera? The main camera is a 200 megapixel sensor combined with an f1.8 lens, 85 degree field of view. There's a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with an f2.2 lens, 120 degree field of view. And the 10 megapixel 3x telephoto has an f2.4 lens, and it has OIS as well with a 36 degree field of view. Finally, that swapped out furthest reach zoom is a 5x zoom 50 megapixel telephoto camera with OIS, f3.4 aperture, and a 22 degree field of view. Samsung is keen to show how powerful the zoom is on the S24 Ultra, and it's understandable given the on paper lens downgrade. You can see it reading a QR code at 30 times and 100 times zoom here, which is pretty good considering the optical maximum zoom range is just five times, like I said. You can also see it switch from one lens to another very smoothly. It's almost imperceptible at times, and the preview on screen displays HDR effects, so what you see is going to be more representative of the shot that you end up taking. While loads of AI stuff's happening when you're recording, it's the edits where it's a lot more tangible. Starting with video, the S24 can create four times slow-mo by filling the blanks in between frames using on-device AI, which generates true-ish 120 frames per second slow-mo video. Better still, the video doesn't even have to be recorded on the S24 Ultra, and all you have to do to enable it is long press the screen, 
when it's playing back the part you want slow mode. Moving on to photo edits, and the phone can zap reflections or shadows from a picture, automatically suggesting corrections after analyzing your photo. And this is still on device AI. And if you're okay with a little bit of cloud magic, Samsung's answer to Google's magic editor for the Pixel 8 series is cloud-based, but it can delete objects, move them around, rotate an image without you needing to lose any information. The S24 Ultra will fill in the blanks paired with Samsung's Cloud AI smarts. So those are the main camera highlights across hardware and software, and you can expect much more on image quality to come, though on first impression, it does seem like Samsung's processing is very similar to past devices. Lively, sharp, vibrant edits that look quite good when you're pulled out, but then when you pinch in, you can see the processing in action. If you're a fan of really pared back natural processing, may not be for you, but if you love that zingy, crisp Samsung look, then this is more of the same. Now, I know I said this video would focus on cameras, but there are some other cool AI highlights that are worth mentioning before I shoot off. My favorite circle to search because of how intuitive it is. When you want to visually search for anything, long press in the bottom center of the screen, circle an object with your finger, and the S24 will Google it. You can also use the S Pen. There are also a load of language AI tools. Text and call someone who doesn't speak the same language as you, and it will translate automatically across a phone call and messaging. You can also get a transcription of a recording, a meeting or whatever, and the S24 Ultra will automatically be able to detect the number of speakers and even summarize the transcription for you. So you can file it in Samsung Notes and access it later and from other devices. If you want a little bit of help with your language, it'll also correct your tone or adjust your tone based on how formal you want what you write to sound. This is quite clearly an iterative hardware update, but it really flexes in the software department in a way only Samsung and Apple can. These technologies look really cool, but I can't wait to see if people actually incorporate them into their lives. So what do you think of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and all of Samsung's new AI smarts? Let me know in the comments section, ask any questions as I ready my review. I'll do my best to answer them, maybe even feature them in the review itself. Have a great day.